M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Kenwood TS2000, sounding great. Oh my god, wow. You can get a sneaky one there. Turn left at the Welsh Club, you know. I'll go down that way, I'll do John, yeah? So if I just turn it yeah, down it and go over here and turn this up. Yeah, because it's a bit um, it's too long winded to go really up late. Now they are different antennas, of course. This one has a 49 to 1 ballon. 66 foot length of wire. I'm not being funny, John. I reckon I could do starting gate to Lemster. One. So, so ICOM 7610. And if I turn this down, turn up the TS2000. And the key yeah, thing you've got to remember um, is yeah, I can listen I on VHF, UHF and 6 okay. metres. Um, it's a shack in the got box. Tomorrow, it's got, it has got a built-in tuner. It's even got satellite mode. Not in this band though. <laughs> Let's go up. VFO mode on both sides by the looks of it. Now we're in satellite. Sim the, the synchronized frequencies satellite where you transmit on two meters receive on 77. So it's quite a set. It's not a big set, but it's 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 bigger than say a 991. You know, they're not right next to each other, but that is a smaller radio, but it has C4 FM, but it is a shack in the box. And as you can see there, I'm just listening to DMR and Fusion here. You can see them back over here. So I thought I'd show them, because it's always interesting seeing these sets working. Back on HF, you've got the low cut here you can play with. Bring that in, makes it sound better. Noise blanker here. Not the strongest, but I find using that, the RF gain. You've got your preamp on and off as well. If you turn that off, there you are. That, it's got a nice that sounds bad, doesn't it? More GTs out there than you, think so. <laughs> you can type in a frequency, just press enter. Tuner here, you just hold. Tuner on, check your power level. I, I mean, it goes into CW anyway, watch. Oh, we need to get the control on this side. There's a control button. And the PTT, because they can be separated. And then you hold the tuner. See if already tuned or it's saying that the, the SWR is a bit high on my G5 RV. And they are a bit like that G5 RVs if you don't put them up right. If you just chuck them out, they receive great, but tuning wise, you've got to work at them a little bit. So, okay, you know me. Always uh, tinkering with different sets. You can see I'm getting interference there, you hear that noise. 14280. Oh, megahertz button here. Not sure if I'm tuned, otherwise I'd give it a go, power. 
You're going to need more than 10 watts. Mike Zero, Fox X Ray Bravo. Meter. Let's check the SWR. Just here. Mike Zero, Fox X Ray Bravo. It's a bit high. Mike Zero, Fox X Ray Bravo. Uh, shouting doesn't really help, really. <laughs> It's about getting a nice clean signal on your antenna. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray, Bravo. Bye for now.